Hello everyone, it's Rachel. Welcome to my channel and to today's video where I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what is in my postpartum care kit. Some of the essentials I really want to have with me for after baby is born. It's definitely a little bit easier to put it together this time around because last time I really didn't know exactly what I was gonna need or want. Whereas this time, because I've been through it before, I kind of have a much better idea of the things that I will want with me the most, the things that will be most helpful and useful for the recovery and dealing with a newborn and breastfeeding and all that stuff. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys what those items are. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing on my list, and this is like just a must for anyone, I think, who is breastfeeding, and that is a water bottle. Water is so important when you're breastfeeding. Staying hydrated is kind of a must. You need to drink lots of water, not only for yourself, but also for baby. So having a water bottle with me by my bedside table for when I'm breastfeeding in the middle of the night, or just bringing one with me to wherever I tend to breastfeed. I think I spent a lot of time breastfeeding either on the couch or in the nursery in the rocking chair, which I don't know if that'll be there. It might be, but I'll probably spend more time nursing in on the couch in the living room and in here. A water bottle, that is a must and an essential. I will be using this a lot after baby is born. Going right along with that is snacks. I went and got myself some granola bars to have by my bedside table or wherever in the house I think I'll be breastfeeding the most. When I had my son, I kind of thought that, oh, now that he's born, I'm not pregnant anymore, I'm not eating for two anymore, so I don't have to snack as much, eat as much as I did. I was totally wrong <laughs> because I was breastfeeding, I'm still giving him all of his nutrition. So if I am not eating enough, he is getting everything and I am lacking in nutrition. And I found I ended up getting a lot of dizzy spells and just feeling lightheaded and off. Happened quite often just because I wasn't eating enough. I wasn't snacking enough for all the breastfeeding I was doing. So this time around, I'm going to do a much better job. Make sure I am fueling myself and giving myself enough nutrients so that I can take care of both of us. I'll also probably do like a little bit of baking before baby's born to have things like muffins, maybe make some of my own granola bars. These are just nice because they're packaged and wrapped so I can kind of have them like by my bedside table for the middle of the night if I want one or wherever else. Whereas throughout the day I will snack more on like things in the fridge. Next on my list also to do with breastfeeding is my Hakka. I loved this thing and used it so much when I was breastfeeding my son. This is just like one of the best things you can have if you are breastfeeding. I absolutely love it. I will link this down below because yeah, this is just amazing. <laughs> I used it so much. It was so nice for, especially like when I was dealing with engorgement, when my milk came in, because you just have so much milk and it felt like kind of a waste to just dump it all down the drain. But this way, if I was feeling engorged, I could like hand express into it and then save the milk for later in a little freezer bag. It's also really nice for letdown. That was something I struggled using it with a little bit more. I know that's what it's like most commonly used for. I just had a lot of trouble with like getting it on. I felt like I'd put it on and then I'd go to breastfeed baby and the baby would like knock it off. So that's something I'm gonna try to work on a little bit more is getting the hang of using it for catching letdown because Honestly, I would lose so much milk into just my nursing pads. And that was a little bit annoying when I know I could be saving it and freezing it for later. So that is something I'm going to try to get the hang of this time. This thing is a must for me. I need to have this for when I am breastfeeding and dealing with engorgement in the first couple months because it was just the best thing I could ever use. So going from more of like the breastfeeding for dealing with baby after the baby was born to more like postpartum healing stuff that I want to have with me after baby comes. First off, this is kind of obvious, but 
pads and like the thicker ones. You do deal with a lot of bleeding at the beginning. They will have stuff for me at the hospital, which I will use while I am there. But I know for like the first day or two or three, I don't remember exactly how long after Tobias was born, I did have some heavy bleeding. So having lots of pads on hand is essential. I need to have these. I found my bleeding wasn't super heavy for very long. So then I quickly transitioned out of using the thick pads to using like the medium to then the thinner ones. So I do have a range of all of those. I know the thick ones are important for the beginning and then for the rest of it, yeah, it'll just be the thinner ones. And actually last time it was a little bit weird because when my bleeding from the labor finally stopped, I got my period pretty much right away, which was really annoying because I'd already been like dealing with um, the bleeding for like six weeks ish. Though it was like super light at that point. But anyways, yes, gotta have pads for postpartum. Another thing that I really like to have for postpartum are like these high waisted high rise underwear. I don't know if you'd call them like granny panties, maybe, I don't know. But these were just so nice to have. I used these for my period as well when I just, I really don't want anything touching my belly in that area um, when I'm dealing with cramping and stuff. So these are also really nice to have for postpartum just because yeah, things are just a little bit off still in my belly. Everything's going down. My organs are trying to get back into place and everything. So just having something high-waisted for a little bit more support and also just not to touch anything in that area just because yeah, I'm just recovering and feeling a little bit sore and off. That's really nice. It also, I found like these held the pads better on the days when I needed a thick pad because I was having heavier bleeding. So I really like having these and I will be using them lots again this time. Another thing for recovery for me for postpartum is a little bottle of witch hazel spray. Diluted this with some water. Witch hazel is just really good for healing. So having that to just spray down there for the first week or so after baby is born just to help things speed up and recover faster to keep things clean. I didn't use this as much as I wanted to in my last pregnancy just because I got an episiotomy and the stitches opened up and uh, there was concern with some infection going on, potential infection. And so I was a little concerned with using it, which I should have used it more because it probably would have helped, but I didn't use it as much. But this time around, I know I will probably be using it a lot more regularly and something I know I want to have on hand for the first first week or two when when I'm really in the thick of the whole recovery process. This will be really nice. Another thing in my postpartum care kit is Epsom salts. This is really nice for after Tobias is born to just take like 10-15 minutes to soak in the bath with some Epsom salts to just really like soothe and help heal everything and uh, taking a bath is also really nice. It almost feels like a bit of a luxury when you have a new baby. So I am definitely going to be doing that again this time around. Last thing for my postpartum care kit is, of course, a peri bottle, which I will get from the hospital. I know some women go and like buy one beforehand. There are some really great ones that you can buy ahead of time, but I found the one from the hospital worked great for me. I didn't need anything fancier. So I will get that after the baby is born when they give me one, but that was an essential as well just to help keep everything clean because you can't really wipe, especially since I had stitches. You don't really wanna be wiping or rubbing or anything down there. So just using the Peri bottle to just clean everything out after you go to the bathroom, keep things nice and fresh. Yeah, I brought my Peri bottle. I brought my Peri bottle with me like everywhere because it's just, I couldn't go to the bathroom without it essentially for the first little while. That is another big thing on my postpartum list. And that is all for what is in my postpartum care kit, the things I will be using a lot after baby's born to help me with recovery and just breastfeeding and kind of those essentials that I really wanna have on hand. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for future videos from me and hear my birth story after baby comes. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you next time.
Bye.